ice is moving all over Greenland. The inland ice is in motion, and presently more than 430 cubic kilometers of ice leave the bedrock every year and work their way into the sea, causing the oceans to rise. This is a rate of loss we have never observed before. Enormous forces are at play, and the movements are controlled by mechanisms we have only just begun to understand. The amount of ice flowing out of here may be as much as double what it was 10 years ago. And that is causing lowering of the surface because the ice gets pulled out and stretched and it's just not being replaced from the ice sheet fast enough. The melting pattern of the Greenland ice sheet has now moved towards the northern part of Greenland where it's very responsive to very large outlet glaciers that can lose a large volume of ice from Greenland. Over the years, scientists have utilized many different measuring methods in order to obtain knowledge about the amount of ice and meltwater that leaves the bedrock. And all these methods tell one and the same story. The ice mass is decreasing faster than ever observed before. We have to concentrate our research on the processes occurring here to understand why is the ice moving faster, when does it reach the northern part of Greenland, and how do we feed it back into our model to make a prediction for the future sea level rise? In the IPCC report from 2007, it was concluded that the mean uh, value of the expected sea level rise during the next 100 years was uh, 40 centimeters. And the, the new values of the expected sea level rise are more of the order one meter during the next century. So this has dramatically changed uh, our prediction of the sea level rise we can expect in our future. Increased melting and its consequences for the speed of the ice loss is an important feedback mechanism researchers are now studying. The objective is to be able to map how much the temperature can rise before we see an even stronger acceleration of the ice flows. You can give a talk about the changing Arctic now and only show examples. You don't have to talk in generalities, you don't have to talk about theories. You can just say, look at the sea ice look at the changing landscape, look at the changing glaciers. This is what a warming planet looks like.